So, next thing to do is to style the backgrounds. So, we'll come back over to our thesis skin editor and we're going to start with the body. Now, the body has background styles and the first thing we're going to do is add a background color. Now, that background color is a green color. And I also want a background image. Now, let's save that for a second and go back to my images because I haven't uploaded my background image yet. So we'll choose an image. Come down here to my dark paw prints. Open that up. Add the image. Copy the URL. Go back to CSS. Open up the body. Look at options, background, background image. Then we just get rid of the extra stuff. Background position will be top center. Background repeat will be repeat. And I think we're good to go with that. If we hit save, save and compile. Come back over and take a look at it. Oh, yes, it is a circle, Cynthia. A very good catch. I don't know why I did that, but yes, it was the circle. So <laughs> I'll come back over to uh, body. And where'd it go? Background. Save. Save and compile. Refresh. Whoops. Now that's not what's supposed to happen though because I thought my little feet were... I thought the little feet print were transparent. Which means the green should show through. Let's just double check that. Maybe I missed the color. No, nope, I definitely did not miss the color. So let's say, let's just repeat in the X direction, see if the green shows up there real quickly. Because I might, have, I might be using the wrong image then. No, my body is not getting the green color. And it should be getting the green color just fine. see what they say here. Something is killing the background color. I see. The background color, for whatever reason in this instance, the background color insisted on me putting in the pound sign. Now, I don't know why that's the case, because that hasn't been the case elsewhere. But I could just be totally wrong about this. Maybe I pasted in a character that was wrong or something. OK. So we'll come back over here, go back to body. And go ahead and repeat everywhere. Okay, so now we've got that. Now I want a white page background. So we'll come over to our container. And 
and go to our options and our background and we're going to say FFF. Let's see if that works. That did work. I'm not sure why. I must have, you know, I, I copied and pasted from a document that other number and there must just have been an extra character in there that I didn't realize that stayed with it. Okay, so we've got our green background, although I don't want that up there, so we need to get rid of a top margin or something. I don't think there's a padding in body, but let's just look real quick. Padding, there's no top padding in body, so there must be some top margin in container. Indeed there is. So we'll get rid of the top margin and container. We'll save and compile that. Come over and take a look. There we go. Okay, so the next thing I want to do then is add a cool background to the footer. Actually, the next thing, yes, the next thing we'll do is add a cool background to the footer. So we'll come back over to the footer style now. And where is that? Not footer columns, but actual footer. And actually, first let's copy our image. And that is this little woof image. Back to CSS, over to footer. Go to options. Now our background color our background image is going to be that. Our background color is going to be this turquoise green. Our background position is going to be top center. Our background is not going to repeat. The background image won't repeat. It's just going to sit up there at the top. But I do need a bunch of padding. And really what I need is like 125 pixels of padding. And we'll have some bottom padding. We'll just leave it like that for the moment. I think actually we can just hit save. And we're just about there. OK, I've got a border that needs to be removed. So let's come down to our footer again and look at border and say none. Save that one. And actually, you know, we've got the same kind of thing in the header that I forgot about. Delete that and say none. Save and compile. Okay, now this obviously wants to be styled yet, but we do now have a bottom footer and a our heading. And I just want to add some page style here real quickly, if you can bear with me for this. Now, in order for us to add page background, I actually need to add another container. So I'm going to come over to the page. And I'm going to add a container. A container that's going to be called Page Background. And this this container is actually going to hold Page Background. It's going to hold my background image. Shift drag it up to the container. Page background will come down below header. Shift drag columns into page background and save that template. And then we'll come over to CSS and add a single element style. The name is going to be page background. 
And the reference will be page background. And the CSS selector will be class page background. Let's see, let's hit save. We're going to make sure we put this in here. And then we need to get the page background image, which is this one right here. This is going to give me a background color down my sidebar. So come back over to CSS, come back down to page background, options, background, background image. background position is top center. It's going to repeat only in the Y direction. And we'll go ahead and hit save. Save and compile. Come over and take a look at it. Let's see. Page background. Page background. Maybe I didn't hit save and compile. refresh it. Okay, so I'm missing something. Oh, I'm on my front page. And this is only right now taking effect on the page itself. Now, now you can see why I want a little bit of extra padding here. So I'm going to add 10 pixels of padding to this column. And then it'll slide over properly. But before I do that, I'm going to come over to the front page. And I'm going to add this page background box to it, to container, move it down, drag two columns into it, save that template, come back over to CSS, and we are looking at the two columns, and column two options, and remember in this padding where I said 32, that's what we'll do. 32 pixels there. Hit save. Save and compile. Refresh. And now our stuff fits inside of that thing nicely. I can see I also want a little bit of padding on the top of this though. So since we're there, let's just go ahead and do that. That is two columns. Options, column 2, we'll go down to column 2 padding and give it 30 pixels of top padding. There we go, drops down. And if we go to our front page, we get the same thing going on here.